patients, both patients and physicians at times are led to believe that a stress test provides all or the most important information regarding the current status of a patient's cardiovascular health. It is a misunderstanding often on the part of patients that a normal stress test means no heart disease and that's not true. A stress test that pa a patient completes uh, in a normal fashion just means that a patient has no severe blockages and does not mean that a patient has no disease. The difference between a stress test and a calcium score is that a stress test will give information regarding the patient's heart pump function and whether or not they have severe disease and whether or not they have good exercise ability. It doesn't give information about the cholesterol within the blood vessels and whether it's there or not. A calcium score on the other hand directly looks to see whether or not there is coronary artery disease pre present in those blood vessels. So a calcium heart score is a scan of the arteries of the heart. It is a CAT scan of the arteries of the heart and it looks to determine whether or not there is hardening of the arteries which is calcification and calcium buildup inside those blood vessels. The calcium heart scan is very can be potentially very informative for a patient who now will learn whether or not they have coronary artery disease. That knowledge is something that will change the management of the patient both from the patient's perspective and the physician's perspective. A patient learns that they now have hardening of the arteries or coronary artery disease and will more aggressively do take measures to uh, prevent disease from becoming very severe in the future.